Jeanette, it's Chris. I'm down at the accountants in Sittingbourne and I'm filming some content for YouTube. When we last spoke, I said to you that you needed to come in early, get the place clean, ready for when I come in, and then I can pretend that I've done the clean and don't have to do anything. I've got here, nothing's done. I don't know where any of the equipment is. I don't know where the vacuum is. I don't know where to plug in. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Is there any chance you could get down here pretty quick for me? There's not. Hold up, yeah. No, no, I'm just about to start the cleaning, Jeanette, so um, I'll, have to, uh, I'll have to give you a call back. But um, yeah, just obviously when you get here tomorrow, everything could be done, you know, it looked like the place has had a deep clean. So um, yeah, don't, you don't need to worry, all right? All right, catch you soon. Yeah, yeah, it's just Jeanette. I was just telling her about some of the, uh, the deep cleaning we're going to be doing today. So in this week's episode, team, we're going to be back on the shop floor me, the MD, I've come back in, I've gave the cleaner a night off to show her how we deliver real cleaning standards on our account. I'm going to be taking you guys around with me and show you how the perfectionists deliver cleaning on a daily basis and reminding the team how it should be done. So let's jump in and start the clean. Only joking with you team, in this week's video, I am actually back on the shop floor and I'm going to be delivering a three hour commercial clean. This is one of our accountancy companies based in Sittingbourne. I'm going to be doing the clean, showing you guys what it takes and what our staff do on a daily basis. So let's start. First thing I would be doing is emptying the bins. Let's go. So I would generally start by going around the contract, emptying all the bins, we'll take a bag out and we'll empty some of the bins in here, replacing with fresh liners. Making it nice and tight so the bag doesn't fall down. Little bits of detail that I like to see and the staff are trained to do on a daily basis. Right, you're just gonna have to follow you around into your bins now, eh? The white liners I would probably get replaced on an ad hoc basis as and when they need doing. We want to do our little bit for the environment, don't need to be replacing them unnecessarily. So we're just going around checking all the bins because there's still people working from home. So not everyone's in every day, there's different scenarios. But as we're coming to year end, as we are fast approaching April, the end of March, and we are in an accountancy company, they are quite busy at the moment. So we'll just go around to make sure we're capturing all the bins. That would be the first thing I would be doing. They've got an under desk bin system here. So that means there's a bin under every desk that's occupied. It varies from office to office. Some have centralized bin points when they're highly conscious of their recycling and things like that. So varies from site to site. I'd say most common is still under desk bins. Um, so we'll just go around, check them all, make sure they're all empty. As I'm going round, I am visually checking the desks because one thing we're big on in the business is not trying to cut anything short, but if someone hasn't been at a desk and it was cleaned last time they were at it, unless it's been a prolonged period and there's been a build up of dust, i.e. if this desk wasn't used from yesterday, but I know someone was there yesterday, I would encourage the cleaner to then use that time elsewhere in the building. So whether that might be skirting boards, high levels, doing some detail work in the toilets or something along those lines, because you don't want to clean something again that's clean um, because that's pointless, right? So we would then put that time elsewhere. So I'm visually checking the desks as I'm going, going around. 
That concludes collecting all the waste in the building and then bins will then be put out into the general waste bins outside alongside the recycling bins that are in a centralized point for all these buildings on this particular estate. Now I'm going to get my gloves on and I'm going to be cleaning the desks in the whole area. So let's go get our cloth, get our gloves and get clean. So we've done the waste. Next thing I would logically do is the desks. Blue cloth for desks, general areas. So we're gonna go around, clean all the desks in a methodical manner. We'll start at the bottom, work our way on the top and work back around to this point. So here we go, let's jump in. So we finished all the desks and now we're going to be moving on to the kitchen clean. So we've changed our cloth to a yellow cloth. So let's get in the kitchens and give them a tidy up. Obviously making coffee during the day, we clear up any cups, etc. I always used to like using a green pad. Put some detergent down, make sure we're getting any lime scale, coffee marks all the brownness off the sinks that I see when I'm going to visit potential clients. So we like to get all them off and make it nice and shiny. So let's keep going. I always, when I'm cleaning, like to have two cloths with me. The reason for that is I like to wipe it down with a damp or wet cloth, usually just damp, wrung dry. And then I use a dry cloth, as you will see shortly, to buff up any metal work, stainless steel, and make sure it looks nice and presentable. So we'll put that there. I'll take my dry cloth and wipe it over. All the smear marks will be out then, and it'll look nice, shiny, and handsome. Bingo. Put the wash bowl back in. Take our green pad with us. And we'll move upstairs to kitchen number two. So, same process again. Clean all the sides. Tidy up. Make sure everything looks presentable. Only two kitchens in this one. Now we're going to change cloths again because we don't want any cross contamination. We're going to jump into our red and green cloths and get cleaning the toilets. There's six in this particular property, so let's get downstairs and get started. So six toilets in this particular contract, four downstairs, two upstairs. So we make sure we replenish the consumables. This particular client likes to have plenty of toilet roll out. Something I think looks unsightly myself, but you don't want any clients getting caught short, do you? So put the toilet rolls out, we filled the hand towels. In toilet areas, we would use two cloths for cross-contamination purposes. You do not want to be using a cloth that has wiped urine off a toilet seat on a sink. So we use a red cloth for the toilets. We would then use a green cloth for the sinks, and then we would encourage our staff to probably use a yellow cloth or a blue cloth to do any mirror work. So 
let's get in and clean the toilet. Not the most glamorous part of the job, but a necessity. So we've mopped all the toilets out, we put all the debris out onto the carpets areas, we've wiped the desk down, we've done the kitchens and we've emptied the bins. The last step in the process is to use our friend Henry here to go around and vacuum all the debris up off the floor. So let's do that and conclude this shift. So we completed the vacuuming and that concludes episode four of the clean sweep. We're going to be doing more of this format where I go back out on the tools, give the cleaner the night off, just to appreciate the effort that goes in to all of our cleaning contracts and that our 100 plus staff deliver on a daily basis. I hope you enjoyed this format and this week's episode of the clean sweep. As always, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, follow along on all of our social channels and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for checking in. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you want to see more cleaning, business, and behind the scenes at JCD Cleaning, then make sure you hit the subscribe button here. Likewise, if you want to watch a video that you may not have seen, you can do so here. Also, if you want to follow along on our other social platforms, you can find the links to that in the description below. Thanks for checking in again, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.